So today we are going to be having a few storms pushing through and some of them do have the potential to become some severe thunderstorms. Currently taking a look, here's the, the severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect for Erion and Crockett County, Reagan County till 9 p.m. tonight. We actually are seeing a few of those storms pushing through right now. Only one or two actually have the severe thunderstorm warning with them right now. So we're seeing some out towards Erion County, Reagan County just hitting Big Lake as well. The one that was closer towards Crockett County has died down in strength and has been moving south. Now there is there is this one out towards um, Midland and out towards Upton County in Glasgow. This is a severe thunderstorm warning until 7 p.m. So watching it, it does have quite a bit of the southern part of that storm that could be getting just into the corner of Sterling because it is moving very north, more north than northeast as it progresses into tonight. And we are seeing some out towards Reagan and Erie County that are going to keep moving east, actually. So we're watching this little guy right there in Erie County to see it's currently looking, tracking to hit just the northern part of San Angelo. So we'll see some heavier rainfall with that. Some strong winds as well. You can see plenty of clouds rolling in from those storms as well. Here's taking a look. This is out towards our west. It's plenty of clouds. We're going to continue with that for tonight. We're going to have warm temperatures. 91 currently here in San Angelo. Still seeing some 90s across the board. Actually a little cooler out towards Azona. They had those clouds rolling in pretty early, so those cooled them down for just a little bit. Same for Mertz and Big Lake as well. So some of those southern counties got a break from that sunshine with the clouds, keeping them a little bit on the cooler side. But of course, we're going to get warmer temperatures coming back as we go into the rest of our week and winds are pretty consistent and strong out there 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts a little bit stronger out towards these areas that are under that severe thunderstorm watch getting some stronger winds for them so those are some of the combinations we'll be watching for the rest of our evening 65 for our lows so not cooling off just yet we are going to be seeing some warm tuesday temperatures be the first of a many. We're getting two triple digits for us on our Tuesday. 100 degrees for our high. Plenty of sunshine. The only relief we're going to be seeing during the day is winds from 10 to 15 miles per hour. But again, there's another thing of relief coming as we go into Wednesday. So for tonight, though, we do have that slight risk of severe weather pretty much all the way from Crockett County all the way to Coke County with a little bit of Tom Green in that area as well. So that slight risk for some of those severe thunderstorms. What you can see and expect with that. The threats are large hail and strong winds as those storms kind of build in strength as they move eastward and those are going to be happening very late tonight and being isolated and spotted and even as we go into overnight we're starting to see it dry back out. Here's a little bit of some lingering sprinkling showers continuing. Clouds are going to start out our morning but we'll clear those out get plenty of sunshine, get a summer-like day as well, and it is going to be a nice warm one for the next couple of days. But we are going to be tracking a cold front that's going to be coming through on Wednesday morning. So if you think the relief is going to be happening with the breeze on Tuesday for the triple digits, there's even more of a relief coming in on Wednesday. That's a cold front that comes through early, getting us back down to seasonal temperatures of 85 before we end the week again with triple digits.